Rajesh, you know, we were also talking about how Blackpack kind of bounced back post-COVID. But when do you see this bounce back translating to revenue and loss numbers? Because yeah. you're still posting significant losses. I think the FY20 numbers that I saw, you know, there was some 240 yeah. crore of loss. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, that's really high considering, you know, you are a B2B uh, player and, you know, it should be far lesser. Yeah. So what what are you doing to bring down your losses? Yeah, exactly. I think uh, you use the right uh, words. I think um, uh, there is like users who come to the platform and there is engagement and then typically is the revenue phase, right? So where we are today is uh, like roughly one in like three truckers in the country is like our monthly transacting customer. He does something or the other on the platform, taking a load or doing a payment transaction, taking a loan, right? Or use, using a GPS device on the platform, right? So where we've been able to demonstrate a lot of growth is on people engaging with us, right? Number one. Number two is that um, is that if you look at it, this particular engagement quotient is built by, like, let's say, a combination of, you know, uh, Salesforce, right, which is, let's say, on the ground, tele, digital. So that's where the entire investment is happening, right? And as we speak today, we've been trying to, like, so truck owners are everywhere. There are probably about six, seven lakh village, candidate villages where there are truck operators. We probably have about our access between about 110,000 villages roughly. So that's where we are investing money into, like building, you know, the entire uh, acquisition pipeline channel for truckers, right? Now, if you look at, you know, the areas from which we monetize, right? So the, the verticals of payment, verticals of telematics, verticals of loans, right? Largely start with, like the first step is also monetization, right? Loads is a vertical which is heavily unmonetized for us. That's point number one. And we would like probably look at, you know, a, a 12 months to 24 months kind of an outlook to start monetizing that, right? So that's where engagement will start translating into revenues, right? Number two is that multiple different areas which are potential revenue sources for us, right? which is financial services, right? Which today is just a vertical which we launched this year, right? That monetization plan is like over the next five years, it will become a significant revenue source for us. Today it's close to 0%. Right? So I think, you know, um, Distribution is where you're investing, you know, a lot of money and that comes first, right, which is happening. That typically translates into users transacting on our platform, retaining and using, when, when they start, they start using one service and then over a period of time they use the second and the third service. And then the, the, the services like marketplace and financial services are on the horizon of the next 12, to 12 months to like 36 months from monetization perspective. Got it. And, um, you know, a few months ago, you also said that Blackbuck wants to get into consumables um, yeah. in yeah. the e-commerce space. I mean, you would supply, for example, grease or paint or tires or other things for your yeah. constituents. Yeah. Um, is that, again, something that you've already launched? Yeah. You're in the process of launching? Yeah. So it's basically, I mean, uh, as a company, like, we keep doing multiple pilots, right? And uh, some pilots succeed, some don't, right? So, so uh, has this the, one succeeded or no? No, no. So under, mm -hmm. under the consumables, consumables umbrella, under the financial services umbrella, we've been trying out multiple pilots, right? So, um, so largely, I think uh, some of some of these verticals succeeding is also dependent on other other verticals succeeding. Assuming that you know you want to sell tires, right? And selling tires uh, typically is a sort of a credit product, right? So you're selling tires, you give a loan for tires for like six months because the, 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 the truck owner is hand to mouth on working capital. So tires, which is a consumable succeeding, is dependent also on financial services, right? So I think we do, as, as mentioning, we do multiple experiments, right? So um, I think the good work is happening on the consumable sector, right? Very good work is, on the, is happening on the financial services phase, right? And I think six to 12 months is when we would know how these verticals sort of stabilize and uh, like build up. Right. Rajesh, Blackpuck has been through many changes um, in the last five years. But in the next five years, if one has to visualize Blackpuck in terms of what else yeah. you will do or expand to uh, or scale up as, um, what framework should one look at? I think, um, again, um, very simple access, right? Um, how many truck operators are we helping and enabling in the country? I think that's like our North Star metric. That's where most of our discussions start with in, within the company, outside the company. That's number one. Today, that number, as I was mentioning, on a monthly basis, about 30 to 33 percent of the truck operators in the country use us, right? It's about 1, 1.1 million uh, truck operators. Right? Second metric is that 
while they are doing business, be any of the verticals we are present in, right? How much of that they're doing with us, right? So we enjoy very high wallet shares in payments telematics, right? We still have, like, let's say, we, we, we are seeing more around today, 20 to 30 percent kind of wallet share on the market phase vertical. So a trucker who's depending on probably, let's say, two trips out of the six trips in a month, can he depend more? So as our network starts expanding to like all the industrial hubs, more shippers get signed up on the platform. We have all demand of all the various truck types, right? Various different commodities, right? At all times, which is needed for a truck operator, that wallet share penetration will increase. Got it. Um, any entrepreneur who you look up to for advice when you know, during the tough times or the low points in your journey? So I think uh, uh, in in my life, uh, you know, there are three people who play different roles, and uh, you know, there are different genres, you know, for which I just inbound into them, and uh, generally I can inbound into them any time. Who are these three people? Uh, first is uh, we got very lucky with uh, partnering with. Uh, uh, Flipkart during our early stages and at that time the investments were led by Billy as part of Flipkart so he's always been a go-to man like any crisis he's been there and I've never seen like because I also don't bug him much <laughs> whenever, but whenever I bug him he's like there in few seconds number one right number two person uh, again whom I met pretty early on in my in my building the company was Raghu taxi for sure uh, founder and CEO right Raghunandan He's, uh, he's been very kind, very like, let's say he's, I, I think I think availability is like blessing because let's say they are so busy, so just stepping out of their own course and helping others is a very good thing, right? So I think second uh, is Raghu, right? And third, as I was mentioning, we have a coterie of uh, Anand's uh, angels. Uh, so Anand Angels is a term we name, but it's the seeds which he has done in Anand every different year, hmm. right? So this th this three firepower, which is you know Harsha, Vamshi, Neeraj, Vivek, right? Uh, you know uh, uh, Sumit, all of them are like just available whenever whenever I need. So I think these are the three like you know my sources whenever I'm down or I need any advice, any help, I just bounce in, they just bail me out. Okay, on that note, thank you very much Rajesh for talking to us on Bits to Billions. Great to have you on this. Thank you so much, Andhra.